I'm back with the ninth stage of this painting. And as I mentioned in stage eight, my decision was to try to throw the distance back further. And I've chosen to do this by increasing the light rays in the distance, which is throwing it a little bit more out of focus. Then I intend to increase the middle distance interest with a few more branches, but slightly in front of middle to distance to foreground. So I'm going to put some branches in front of the girl, but still revealing the girl. They won't be dense. Now I'm not just creating this on the painting. I have very carefully gone through my sketches of rainforests and studied compositions and what will work with my subject. So I know exactly what I'm doing before I start. I'll be putting some branches in that will be complementary to the foreground tree. I'll be having branches coming down from above to stop my eye going out of the painting. And I'm also going to be putting some fern branches in. Now, darks aren't always cold. There'll be warmth in them too. So I'm picking up a few colors to add the warmth. Now I'm adding water to the mixture. Now apparently Art Spectrum soft pastels will emulsify with water relatively well. And I did use some Art Spectrum and also some Unison to put these darks in. So I'm going to use these soft pastels that are not as soft as my Sennelia Wash Binky brands for doing underpainting and for doing sections of the painting that I want to emulsify. And I'm going to do most of my emulsifying with water rather than with alcohol because I like to work safely. I'm actually wearing a dust mask as I work. Now the dust mask I chose I had imported from the Philippines. <laughs> um, I found that the ones that I could buy here in the chemist in Australia were either difficult to breathe through or the exhaled air came out of the top of the mask and fogged up my glasses. And I found that most unsatisfactory. I um, went online and I looked for bicyclist marks in uh, countries where the air is polluted because, I mean, they really understand how to create a dust mask and I imported a couple of masks from the Philippines and they are just perfect for pastelists. I've put up a um, tutorial video on them. I'll pop it up again. Now I'm using a blue green to suggest here uh, fern foliage, fern fronds and when I've got this in I'll go back in and I will look for a very pale tint of this blue green and I'll put some highlights in. There we go. You're just intensifying the foreground in this rainforest. As I said, the, the main features of rainforests is that they're very dense, except for those areas that might be cleared for a river or a stream. 